Absolutely. You look good. Okay. Sound good. Uh, I'm I'm going to do a real quick intro, and then I'll bring you in. Is that okay? Yeah, man. That's, oh. uh... Hello, okay. everybody. Hello, everybody. This is Cruise Man, and today we're doing something a little different. I'm just going to uh, test out this StreamYard software, and it's kind of a software used for mostly for live broadcasts, things like that, that allows you to bring multiple people together into a video. And I thought this would be a great time to um, visit with uh, another YouTuber, Memphis Mike, and I'm going to bring him in here, and we will... See if we can see him on the screen now. Hey, Mike, how you doing? Uh, feeling good, man. Feeling good. Good yep. deal. Absolutely. And a lot of you've already you already know the story because you've seen Memphis Mike's YouTube channel. You've seen his most recent video where he talks a little bit about uh, his riding gear and uh, just kind of had a man just had a rough year. Um, so, man. Mike, just tell me a little bit about your COVID experience and. And uh, your little mishap you had the other day. Yeah, man, I'll tell you, just in a nutshell, uh, of course, uh, some may or may not know, but my wife, she's a RN, works for a hospital. And, uh, you know, strangely, uh, she had gotten her flu shot, uh, which they're required to get, you know, all the nurses. And, uh, man, two or three days later, man, she was just feeling terrible, terrible, you know. And uh, she thought it was from the flu shot because normally she kind of feels bad from that and uh, just kept getting worse and worse. And uh, finally, she decided to go get tested for COVID. Well, she went and got tested. Uh, and then one a few days later, myself and my son started feeling bad. And uh, we woke me and my son woke up on Sunday morning. And as he said, it just feels like a really, really bad hangover. And I'm like, okay, you know. So we both went and got tested. We both tested positive as well. Hmm. And so be began the uh, journey on November 1st with the whole house with COVID. And my wife being a nurse, she kind of knows the symptoms and what to look for. And uh, <clears throat> really started noticing her heart rate really declining. You know, she used one of those uh, finger things that uh, pulse oximeter, you know, as she kept around. And she's like it. She kept saying, well, if it gets to a certain level, uh, I need to go to the ER. Now, I'm, keep in mind, my wife being a nurse, man, uh, unless we got gunshot wounds or, right. you know, <laughs> she figures she can handle it. She thinks she's like, you know what? Uh, we can pretty much take care of it here. But. Man, she got where she just couldn't hardly breathe and everything. So went to the ER. Long story short, she actually went in the hospital for nine days. Wow. Uh, was in the ICU for six to seven days. Thank God she never had to uh, be intubated. Uh, we kind of fought for that. She's like, I don't want to go in the intubator. Don't want to do it. Right. And because uh, she's, she's kind of seen what happens when yeah. that happens. Yeah. And, uh, you know, sadly, I was at home and just decked out on the couch, man. I, I couldn't help. I couldn't do nothing. And uh, so uh, she was in the hospital for about nine days. And, uh, you know, once she got out, of course, it took her a long time to recover. Still actually has trouble with shortness of breath. Wow. You know, and uh, which is strange. She has since gone back to work within the last month or so as of uh, the time of this video, uh, but still has actually revealing on the uh, scans. Still got some cloudiness. Wow. Almost looks, almost looks like pneumonia. Like, So she's on sedentary duty, light duty, not seeing patients, and uh, uh, pretty much desk work. So and she's going to go back and see the pulmonologist, you know, in a, another few months to see what's progression is, but, uh, she's, she's not her same self right now, man. And then mm. bought my new motorcycle, my Honda VFR 800, which I've been wanting for a long time. Uh, even since when I bought my 2014 CB 1100, um, bought that bike and, uh, man, I barely had it about a month, six weeks, got ran off the road on a back County road 
Um, I don't know if you got those kind of county roads out in Texas where, you know, the road, not many, the road not traveled much, maybe a farm road, you know, so forth. And, uh, and the driver in the pickup truck just, uh, uh, kept watching and watching. And he finally just kind of, uh, veered over into my lanes. And I thought, man, I got to make a decision. It was either hit him or hit the dirt. And you can see from those photos, I, I opted for the dirt. And as soon as I hit the dirt, bam, just took the bike straight down. It was like Mike Tyson, man. Man, you know, yeah. like a knockout punch. And uh bike is now in the shop getting repaired under insurance. And uh, unfortunately, and to my shame, uh, which I know better, I had no gear on. Nice, hot, sunny day. I thought, do a little cruising. Nothing will happen. Wasn't ripping, you know, wasn't out there <laughs> dragging knees and all that stuff. And uh, well, let me tell you, dirt hurts, brother. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it looks, hurts. it looked pretty painful. And, uh, and, and tell us about what you were, what were you wearing when this uh, happened? A lot of the same thing most average riders wear jeans, boots, and a t shirt. Actually, jeans, t shirt, and tennis shoes. Okay. I didn't even have my boots on. And, uh, man, it was just a... Uh, no gloves? No gloves. No gloves. Yep. Didn't have any... Uh, nothing. You know, it, uh, in fact, I'd only just kind of went to a buddy's house before. And I thought, yeah, I think I'm just going to go for some back road cruising. And, you know, typical day. Sure. You know, let's go have some fun. And uh, everybody at my house was out of town. Uh, it was in the afternoon, 5, 5.30, so I thought, yeah, let's go take in some back roads and, you know, have a good time and just kind of lightly, you know, lightly cruise a little bit. So how has this kind of changed your riding habits now? I mean, I know you've just invested in some new gear, and has this kind of changed yeah. kind of a new a new awakening, I guess? You know, it. Uh, uh, to be honest, it really has. Um uh, number one, I'm still actually kind of, you know, at the time of this video, we're about, uh, let's see, uh, almost two months out from the accident. Um, it's kind of, uh, I've been kind of a little bit paranoid when riding. Uh, I always thought if I went down or something happened, you know, I live in Memphis. We got a lot of traffic and all sure. that, even though I'm in the outside skirts of Memphis. I thought, you know, man, if I'm ever going to be hit, it's going to be in city traffic. Somebody's going to yeah intersection, left, yeah intersect. Somebody's going to turn left in front of me, or you know, something like that. And because uh, I ride back roads in, in the area I live in uh, all the time, and uh, I've still been a tad paranoid. And even on the back roads now, <laughs> cars coming at me, I'm still yeah a little paranoid. Are you, now, do you on your uh, Goldwing? Do you have the uh, uh, flashing headlights, the modulated headlights? No, I do not. Do you no. think? Do you think that might have made a difference? I'll or do, you just don't know? I guess, but I don't really know. But uh, personally, I've never been a fan of the modulated headlights. Um, I just uh, kind of my take as far as what I feel. Well, let's let's talk about the Goldwing in particular. To me, the gold wing is such a large bike. So maybe, maybe the modulated headlights would help or not. But I also have full LEDs in the front, electrical connection. If they can't see that and they can't see that big old bike, and yeah. I do wear a white helmet. And because I feel like helmet color is, uh, I think it's one of the most important things. Yeah, I, I do too, yeah. I think, especially on a large fairing bike like the Goldwing, that could be first things they that see. They might notice. Yeah, you know. Uh, so, you know, to answer that, uh, no, no modulated. Do, do you think? Do you think this would have still happened if you'd been on the Goldwing, or you don't think it made a difference? <sighs> what do you think? You just you know, I'm sure you've re, I'm sure you've replayed this over a thousand oh, times man, in your yeah. head. Every day, almost. Uh, I think it very well could have. I, I just think, you know, we all talk about uh, the common statement is about as far as cars or as all the motorcycles call them cagers. 
you know, they, uh, they, you know, the statement is always, I never saw him or whatever. Right. I mean, I'll be pers personally cruise, man. I, I just think people are not looking. Yeah. I, I really don't because I'll be honest, two months before this, uh, a lot of you guys know I drive for the, uh, let's just say, uh, so I don't involve corporate, the big Brown company. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. Uh, so you put two and two together, uh, an elderly gentleman in a pickup truck on the very back road. My route is very rural. He swerved into my lane and I put that big Brown truck in a ditch. Wow. So are you telling me he didn't see you? <laughs> you never saw that. Yeah. I, I just don't think they're looking. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I, I, I think they're totally distracted and cause this guy never even stopped, you know? So. Now I know the I know the COVID thing and probably, well, maybe the accident as well kind of slowed you down from your YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. Do you, and I know you just put out a video this last week. Do you see, yeah. do you see that starting up again or? Well, I, mean, I just now, you know, uh, finally, you know, I can't about three weeks from this video here. Uh, I kind of just did a patio bit, actually sitting right where I am right now on my patio. Uh, I use the iPhone and a, you know, a Joby gorilla pod stand. And I thought, man, I don't want to have to bust out the editing software and everything. So, uh, I just cut it off the cuff, you know, no editing, no nothing and kind of updated people what was happening. And uh, the comments I got were actually pretty encouraging uh, because, you know, in YouTube, man, if you drop out a couple of months, you're, yeah. you're, uh, you're history, you know? Right. I mean, and so I put that out and man, I, I was overwhelmed by the comments, the, you know, the, you know, the nice comments, the encouragement. And uh, even, uh, you know, so I thought, you know, my wife's like, you know, you need, you need to fire it back up. You know, so I took a day, charged up all my cameras, my audio recorder, checked all the settings and everything. And yeah, this particular last video that I did uh, about the Bond Armor uh, gear, I uh, went out on a Sunday and cut it, came back, listened to it, loaded up, didn't like it, went back out the next day, recut it. I've done that a few times. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, you know, I, I really didn't like the second video, but maybe, you know, sometimes we're harder on ourselves than uh, we should be. I think probably and, right. Yeah, I, yeah, thought, I and, thought it was good. I thought it was a good video. You know, I appreciate that. And, uh, you know, then when it came to the editing, boy, <laughs> I yeah. got up, uh, man. Yeah, I, you forget. Uh, it's easy to forget. Man, you know, because it's been so long. And, uh, you know, especially because you, uh, uh, you probably use multicam editing as well. Yeah. Man, I just got tangled up i had to yeah. go back on youtube and relearn and learn how to yeah. you know what am i doing wrong so yeah for those of you that don't don't know what mike's talking about you know he uses like i do he uses two cameras he's got a camera facing him that he's got a camera on his helmet yep. and he even has a separate audio recorder so yep. he's he's got to edit all of these uh video and audio files and get them all synced up and it's uh it can be challenging, especially if you stay away from it for a while, because I do it almost every day. So I'm, yeah, you know, and you yeah. did too for a while. So yeah. you'll get, I'm sure you'll get back into it again. Well, tell me a little about the Bond Armor. How's it working out for you? Yeah. Well, okay. The Bond Armor, um, uh, of course, I remember you putting your first bid out about it. And, uh, you know, just one day I started thinking, uh, I really need something. I got to have something, you know. Uh, my wife has even talked to me about it and everything. And, uh, I thought, you know, here in Memphis, just like Texas, I mean, you know, we got hot humidity, man. Kind of like those Arizona yeah. folks, which may not have the humidity, but California, man, it's just blistering hot. Yeah. You know, down in Southern Louisiana where Cajun Gold Wing Rider is, it's just hot, you know. And uh, he, he, even my mess jackets, uh, my tour master jacket, which had armor, all that, it always felt heavy. You know, yeah. it was discouraging to put it on, you know. Right. And uh, finally, I watched your video uh, that you put out, and I thought, you know what? 
I started getting on the Bon Armor site and I looked at it and I thought, well, you know, uh, at the time of this video, <laughs> kind of being on short term disability, I thought, man, money's a little tight right now. Right. But uh, I ride daily. So I thought, I, you know, I got to do something. So, uh, you know, watching your biz really actually kind of led me to purchasing the Bond Armor. And uh, now, man, it's, uh, I mean, I just leave it in the bike. So every time I walk out, I just. It's right there. Um, it's right there. You know? And I, I really think it would have helped on your forearm. I do too. I mean, you know? all the impact places I took, uh, yeah. basically my forearm and my left shoulder uh, would have had coverage. Now my torso did get kind of eat up a little bit, uh, which may or may not be unusual. I don't know. First wreck I've ever had. Yeah, you know, most people I think slide on their back, but you, you know, right. just I guess it just depends on how you hit. You don't really have much control over it, so. Yeah, exactly. So, and it happens so fast, you know. Right. I saw one guy's comment on Facebook. It wasn't talking to me. He was talking about others, so and he's like, "Well, you should slide on your back instead of your stomach." You don't get to well, pick. <laughs> you don't get to pick. This I mean, happens so it, fast. I mean, it happens fast. Yeah. Man, it's, you know, like say, like you're in the MMA ring and all yeah. of a sudden lights Pow. out. Yep. Yeah, yeah, lights out. Now, did you did you lose consciousness? I, You know what? I don't think I did. After it happened, it, it, it seemed like it took me a few days to kind of piece together what happened. Oh, really? And I didn't even realize until about two weeks later what road I was on. Wow. I had an elderly gentleman stop by after it happened and uh he helped me pick the bike up because i tried to pick the bike up but my shoulder yeah hurt me so bad and i didn't realize it he i said i said sir i said where am i at you know i mean yeah was, you know i had yeah. to make a detour on an unfamiliar road yeah he told me that he said all i remember was the road started with an l and then about two more weeks later uh a friend of mine said, uh, oh, yeah, that's that road. Look and do road. Yeah, I'm like, that's it. Wow. You know, and my yeah. AirPods are still laying in the cornfield somewhere. So. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> so, well, yeah. everybody's glad that it wasn't worse. And oh, yeah. No broke bones. It could have been. I mean, you didn't get anything lower body. It was all pretty much upper body, wasn't it? You know, strangely, I just had my jeans on. Uh, wasn't a scratch. Wasn't a scratch from the waist down. That's real interesting. Yeah. Well, good, though. I mean, that's, that's good. And like I say, I didn't hit the pavement. So, you know, that could, it could have had something to do with it. Right. You know. Well, we're, we're glad you're okay. We're glad you survived COVID. And oh, I know that a lot of people, myself included, are anxious for you to get out there and start making some more vids because we miss yeah. seeing Memphis Mike with that cigar. <laughs> and the barbecue videos and all, all and uh i want we're going to wrap this up we don't want to go too long that's why we didn't do a live show because yeah mike and i both agree that some of these things yeah. go on for an hour and they're just too long but exactly. i wanted my uh, viewers to hear your story and right. and to uh, check out your youtube channel at mike Payne photo youtube.com mike Payne photos on the screen and i'll put it in the description down below and yeah thanks thanks again for doing this today i appreciate it i know you got dinner getting ready to go on and yeah man it's uh it's been good i appreciate i appreciate doing this and uh like i say i you know just to reiterate i i really i really got to hand it out and give a shout out to you and bon bon armor oh thank you for that stuff because uh because i know now you put two bids out on the bon armor stuff right and, uh you know the people at Bon Armor, when I spoke to them, you recommended me just give them a call. Uh, man, they were just, uh, they were so courteous. Yeah, it's they're like nice people. Talking to your neighbor. Yeah. You know, you ever call those companies where you're on the phone with them and they feel like they just want to get off so quick? Uh, every, well, Chris, pretty much every, yeah, every yeah, company. Yeah. I guess it's, uh, yeah. what, Kristen? Chris, uh, yeah, Kristen. Mm -hmm. Kristen, there. I mean, she just kept going on and on. And I'm like, wow okay she uh, you know because you always feel like maybe you're taking up too much time you know and you but, just you just sent me a little video today of somebody that i guess yeah. had seen your video and they live nearby exactly 
yeah. just rode over to Bon Armour store. They're somewhere in North Carolina, right? Mooresville. Mooresville, yeah. North Carolina. Yeah, yeah. And uh, they went over there and it looked like they were getting ready to buy some stuff. So that's very good. Very cool. Oh, it's been uh, made good stuff, man. And it, uh, like I say, it, uh, a lot of people that watch my video also had said they had seen yours as well. Right. And uh, this particular guy that went there today, he's like, I, you know, I watch Memphis Mike's bid. I watch Cruise Man's bid. And, uh, you know, I think that's just the power of YouTube, but people having yeah. real experiences, you know, and right. being able to share that and uh, spread the word. So, you know, well, I think I think the pants are going to be my next. Yeah, going to be my next order. Yeah, know? I've got the the same material that you have in the uh, in the top. The sheer, I have those yeah. sheer pants. I just wear them under my jeans. Yeah, yeah. And they, you don't, y'all hardly even know they're on. I mean, it's no. really great. Yeah, so, I'm looking forward to getting those. Yeah, know? well. You know. I, I want to thank you again for taking the time to do this with me and maybe we'll have to do it again. <laughs> we'll yeah. get together yeah. and just chew it up. So anyway, I appreciate it. Thanks again. Everybody check out Mike's YouTube channel and we'll see you next time on Cruise Man's Garage. I appreciate it, Cruise Man. Thank, thank you. you.